Howdy folks, this is Tall Turtle here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7, where we are continuing on the Drivers' Cup today. If you're wondering why my voice sounds different yet again, it's because I've ditched the headset with the mic, because even though it was okay, I was frustrated that my actual microphone sounds better. So if you're not watching the airplane videos where I explained everything in detail, I'll give you the brief overview. I used to have my nice microphone really close to my face with low gain, because then it sounds really good, but then it was in my way. So I tried that headset thing, it was okay, but I still wasn't totally happy after five or six videos. So now I'm back to my good microphone, except this time instead of close to my face with low gain in my way, it's far from my face with high gain out of my way. And for the most part, it sounds pretty much the same, especially once we get the sounds going of either the simulator or the games, you can't tell the difference anyway. I just have to trust that it's working because it's far away from me and I can't see the levels on the mic from here, so I just have to trust that my microphone is working. The fact that you're watching this means it is. So with that out of the way, let's get started. I will say I'm a little bit disappointed tonight because I was going to do some first-time multiplayer racing. The first time in my life doing any racing online. And I got it all loaded. I started a video and then I'm having issues connecting to the server. I quickly went on the internet. And there is a fix for it, I guess, and it's about my home router not allowing something through. And because of my ISP, it's a completely locked down the router. So someone like me who actually knows networking, I can't go in and do anything to it. It's completely locked down. So I have to find a workaround. I'm not going to do it tonight because I'll be up all night. And I would rather record videos for you all. So instead of recording multiplayer for the first time, we are going to do some more motorsport forts at something, the Driver's Cup thing. We're going to continue with it. Um, we're just going to go. I'm going to do the multiplayer thing another day. We don't have time. So let's get going. Let's hop inside this Domination Championship. The Domination Championship. And see what we can do. All right. At this point, like I've said many times before, in case you're new here, we do all the races even if we don't have to. Just because. Um, and then if we have to go back and get a better position, final position in the category to get enough points, we will. But we're just going to go along. So instead of picking and choosing, at this point, we just start at the top and do what's next. So what is next? Forza GT. We own 10 of these, it says. I'm not great with them. I'm only good with the slow cars. Well, and the Indy cars with all the assists turned on. But let's hop inside here and see what he has to say about this category. This Forza GT division draws from the top GT race leagues in the world. From the wheels up, Every car has been modified for tight, competitive racing. Okay. Um, I'm just going to use the first one that I have on my choices here. Let's select this and let's have a shot at this, eh? All right, so we're going to go to setup and do assists. Now, this is a very modern car, so we are going to turn ABS on. We are going to turn all these on because of the modernness. I guess I have to remove a mod. So let's back out of here. Go to mods. And which mod is blocking me? This one. Let's remove you. And while we're in here, what else can we do? Um, eh, I guess we can throw this one in there. I'm not going to take time buying. Um, I'm not going to take time buying mods right now. Yeah, I know it doesn't mean that. That's just for later. All right, let's get. Oh, we gotta wait. Here we go. Virginia International Raceway. It's gonna be our first race. If I start yelling, it's because my headphones are cranked. Um, because they are. Alright, assists. We're worried. Um, this will go on. This will turn on because these are modern cars. It's going to be manual without the clutch. Uh, friction assist is off. It makes it hard, but way more fun. Um, and there we go. And let's... It's been a month since I've raced. Let's not even warm up. Let's just jump right into it. All right, rolling start. Ooh, I got to turn my headphones down. Um, but on the topic of multiplayer, I was reading about how people are complaining how you can race with cysts. Some people have a cyst, some don't, and everything, and how it seems unfair. But um, then someone pointed out too, like you know, if you know what you're doing, is actually faster without the assists, and so it really comes down to the driver. Oh boy, I'm taking it way too easy. We had a really good start, and then I just decided to go too easy, and now we're now we're losing it here. Um, so I'm trying to decide 
And by the time you watch this, whoop, bump my microphone, sorry, I guess I have to move my microphone even further away from my face. Um, I was trying to decide if I should, um, hang on, I'm trying to concentrate because I'm racing barefoot and my foot is sticking to my pedal and I can't ease off the throttle. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Anyway, um, gosh, I hate fast cars. Oh, I'm not a fast car person. What was I saying? Oh, I'm trying to decide if I should shorten, shorten the videos of each race. So, for example, instead of having the entire race on camera, if I just do like the highlights of each race, because I know that's a popular format on YouTube, is someone will race and then they'll just do an overdub narration of the highlights. So that way they can have like 10 races in a 10 minute video or something. But I don't know, I like the streaming format where I race the whole thing. Even if I don't talk the whole time, I just race the whole thing and then talk sometimes. So let me know what you think. By the time you answer this question, I would have recorded probably a dozen videos because I'm going to try to get ahead a little bit here. But then after those dozen videos catch up, I can't see the road. After those dozens of videos catch up, then maybe I'll switch formats. I don't know. It was going so well. It was going pretty well. I just don't like fast cars. I'm just not good at them. Um, I don't know why. I don't know. But I am going to shut up and race now. And see if I can get back up to whatever place I was in. Oops, and I couldn't see where I was going because the guy was blocking me, and I went for the overtake, and, uh, oops.
And we're gonna get our top 10 finish. Somehow halfway through that race it just clicked with me on what I needed to do. And I was able to do it and we'll take it. And we finished ninth, so we should be ninth in the standings next race. Alright, got some more mods I just bought that I can put in here. That applies to what we're doing. So let's take advantage of that. And Dubai. Okay, if I can just lock in, we should be able to keep up top ten, I hope. Alright, here we go. Curl my toes because my foot's sticking to the pedal. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Alright, here we go. Um, oh, see, did that weird thing again where it takes a while for my steering wheel to actually kick in. Oh, um. Let's see. So, that would have been an example in that other race where, like, I could have cut out a whole bunch of it and then just included where I did my big passing of, like, 12 cards or whatever that was. You know, just do the highlights of each race instead of every second of it. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, oh my gosh. When we started recording tonight, I thought I would try the highlight thing. But then as I'm racing, I'm like, no, I think it's fun to keep the whole race in there. And, um, you know, you can watch if you want to or not if you don't want to. Um, let's see. Oh, I have a cat trying to lie on my feet. Oh, if you heard that bonk, that's my big main coon running into the microphone. And he's meowing because he's mad at something. He's actually my small main coon. He's a purebred with papers. But he was the runt of the litter, so he's no bigger than a normal cat. Um, but anyway, sometimes he'll make an appearance and he'll meow. One time he knocked my microphone cable out and I recorded a whole video and half of it didn't have voice audio. I didn't find out till later. Um, hopefully that's not what's happening now. And let's see. I think what I'm going to do is try to concentrate on this race. And I'll see you at the end unless something exciting happens in between.
No. I was gonna say how well this was going, and then I got spun out a little bit. So I'm not gonna get first, but I'm gonna get second. Wow, that was intense. Holy cow. I don't know how I did that. Raining at the spa. So I was watching some racing videos, like real life stuff and coaching. And I've been trying to implement it in these races, and so far so good. I'm trying to have better exits from the corners. And we had quite a few of those because I was able to um, get some really good passes in that last race. Don't spin me out. Oh, I got them pushed on both sides. See the arrows? Anyway, I got some really good passes and overtakes in that previous race. Don't knock me. Oh, oh my gosh, both sides are still hitting me. I have to let him pass because I have to get around them. And um, they're still pushing me over. And so that helped a lot. And then with rear wheel drive, I think this is rear wheel drive, not all wheel drive. It feels like rear wheel drive. Anyway, something I have to remember is make sure I do all my braking while I'm still going straight. Because if you do any of your braking and then start, or if you keep braking while you're turning, you are not going to survive. Of course, with the assist on, it's not so bad in this, but especially the lighter ones like the Pontiac Solstice and the Mazda Miata and all that. If you brake and then turn while you're still braking, you aren't going to survive it. So I'm trying to keep those things in mind as I drive here. And I don't know this track. I can't remember this track well enough. Oh yeah, this is where that Corvette Endurance was. Um, I can... I don't know what I'll say. <laughs> if I can... I was going to try to leave that corner better, but I don't know the track well enough to know where it was. Like, do we, here we go, see? So there's another one. There we go, now I'm remembering this track. So anyway, if I keep those things in mind, hopefully it'll keep going well. And I also need to feel less guilty and cheaty about using things like traction control and stability control, because they do use it in real life. And, I mean, each race has different regulations on it, but they do use it a lot in real life, and a lot of times they change it as they're racing. Um, that's what some of those dials are on their steering wheel, is they'll change it based on the corner and stuff, so I shouldn't feel so bad, because cars like this, I just can't drive with assist off. It's just impossible for me, and it's not fun at that point, so enjoyment is the number one thing, and if I use traction control sometimes and assist sometimes, to get more enjoyment out of the race. Tough, too bad, so sad. That's how it's gonna be. All right, let's see if I can remember this one. Am I really in third place, even with all this talking? Wow, long laps, one lap down. I will see you at the end of the race.
Okay, that was kind of a lame way to overtake him, but it was the only chance I had. <laughs> oh, I see what hit me off the track at really, really high speeds on these other places, and then I would have spun out for sure, and it would have been frustrating. So I just took advantage of the mechanics a little bit, and um, final lap, I just have to hold it off here and not screw up too much, and we should be good to go. Sometimes it's a lot harder when you're in first place because you don't have a car in front of you to set the example of where the corners are, how hard you can push them, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm running into right now is I was taking it way too easy and then they caught up to me and I feel a lot of pressure here. In fact, he's right next to me. So it's all up to me on this horrible corner here to stay ahead to win the race. Um, I should have had a much bigger lead but I didn't because I was going way too slow like a grandma, way too careful. But we did it. About time. And where does that put us? It puts us in fourth place still. So good. We're in the top five so far. I'm still going to split these videos up for now with all highlights. I'm going to show the whole races. So that means that's the end of this video. You know the drill. I'll see you next time when we finish the series.